I'm gonna show you what that cross teaches. Because we was all taught that the cross is teaching that a white Jesus and he loves everybody, correct? That's what we all brought up, was all brought up in church to believe. Read that for me. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. Bring it up. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. So the serpent beguiled Eve in the garden. Remember that story? Mm -hmm. That means he was very subtle with them. He tricked Eve. All right, go ahead. Through his subtility. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Now the simplicity of Christ is, Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Right. Hold that real quick, go to Revelations. We'll get that real quick. So we have to prove everything we're saying out the Bible. It's something that your pastors would not teach you, okay? We're gonna teach you that God is not dealing with everybody. We're gonna teach you the color of Christ and the color of all the, all the prophets in the Bible. Go ahead. Revelation chapter one, verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. All right, so y'all listen to this. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. If anybody didn't know what color Jesus Christ was, we're going to show you right here. All right? Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Jesus Christ, his head and his hairs are white and woolly. Right. The texture of Christ's hair is of wool. Right. My brother, if you look around, all these brothers out here, we have woolly hair. Right. All right? That's not given to every other nation. Understand that. Keep going. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right. And his feet. All right, it says, and his feet, because John could see his feet. This is visible because Christ actually walked the earth, did he not? So he had feet. Go ahead. Like onto fine brass. The color of brass would be brown. It's a brownish color, okay? So automatically he's not white. If his feet are not white and it's right. telling you it's brown, that means Christ is a dark skinned man. Let's right. keep going. As if they burned in a furnace. You take that color and you burn in the furnace, how dark is it going to get when you burn anything? That's right. So what color is Christ? Black. What color? He's a black man. He's That's a black right. man. There you go. Now go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and read verse 4 because we want to continue on that because. The image that we was given is of a white, this image right here, wasn't it? Right here, look at this. A white, feminine, soft Christ. Teach. That talks real soft. Oh, art thou, I love you. Right. That's what we were taught, that's what we were taught in the movies right. in the church, right? right? Read this for me, verse four. Brother, I'm sorry, Second Corinthians, chapter 11, verse four. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. It says, if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, go ahead. Whom we have not preached. The Bible didn't teach that. So now we have to wonder who taught us this image. Who put that image in our heads? Right. That every time we pray, we have to fight that image to get out of our heads to put a black image in our head now. Right. Who is the person that taught you there's a white Jesus? Yeah, I understand. Who was it? What man taught you that Jesus Christ was white? No man taught me. Who taught you that thing? The church. Okay, good. That's what we're getting to. The Christian church is the, is the people that taught us that Christ was a white man. But when we look in the Bible, what we just read, that he's a black man. Go to verse 15, Revelation 1 to 15. Now, all right, so we also said that they also preach a feminine Jesus Christ, a soft-spoken Jesus Christ, right? Read this, verse 15. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Keep going. And his voice. And his what? His voice. As the sound of many waters. It said Christ's voice was at the sound of many waters. Right. Christ was not a soft man. Right. He didn't speak real low. He spoke with authority. Right. He spoke bold, loud. Right. So everybody could hear him. Right. Because remember, Christ was preaching to the masses. Right. So everybody had to hear him. So there's no such thing as a, a, a man shouldn't be a soft-spoken man. See. We're out here roaring like lions because we follow our footsteps of Christ. Right. That's what we do. Okay? They try to tell you, we don't like the men to be loud. We got to be real soft. Christ didn't say that. Christ told us to come out here and preach to our people. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. All right? We follow in the image of our, of our Savior, Jesus Christ. All right? What you got? You got to go somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running the store and doing chest. Oh, give me that real quick. You get the store real quick. Get the, get the law on that real quick. All right? This is the Sabbath day, okay? The Sabbath day is what? You know about the Sabbath day? The Sabbath? Okay, all right. Real quick, the seventh day is this, the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. This is God's holy day. There are certain things we cannot do on the Sabbath day that we can do on every other day. Get that for me. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. 
Nope. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. All right, so God says to keep this day holy, which is the seventh day. All right, go ahead. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant. You be buying and selling. All right, so on this day we're not allowed to do any work, okay? So was it Sunday through Friday, you can work, do everything you need to do, but on the Sabbath day you cannot do it. I'm going to get you this law real quick before you go in that store. Hopefully don't go in that store. Nehemiah. Chapter... Chapter Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any fiddles on the Sabbath day to sell. So it's saying if anybody opens a store on the Sabbath day to sell you something, that we would not buy that you, meaning us, the Israelites, sell not what? We would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Because we are not supposed to buy on the Sabbath day. This right, is the day right. that God said we are to rest. Right. We're not supposed to be buying, selling, cooking, cleaning, or working on the Sabbath day. Right. We're, supposed to be, we're supposed to be out here teaching the people and coming together and congregating to learn about God's laws. Right. Learn about our heritage. Yeah, man, what you got going on today? What you got going on today? Basketball. basketball. All right, come on. Let me show you something about, that, about basketball. All right, basketball is nothing but a distraction. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Because basketball is not doing nothing for the state of our people. Right. Not a damn thing. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of us used to play basketball. But what is it going to get you? Are you going to make a career out of it? So you just play for fun. At least you just play for fun. But today is the Lord's Sabbath day. I'm going right. to show you something. Give me that in all. What you got? Get it, get it real quick. I'm going to show you something. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2. For thou art an holy people. Oh, to the Lord thy God. My brother, God says that you are holy people because according to the Bible, God does not feel that all nations are equal. He didn't make all nations equal. God made the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans above all people. That's right. That's in the Bible, all right? We got to come back to the laws of God. That's the only thing that's going to bring us back to the top. Playing basketball, shopping on the, on the Sabbath day, uh, doing whatever the hell you want to do is not going to bring us back. It's going to keep us at the bottom, all right? Let's make a plane. Go to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. All right? Because a lot of us like to think what we do matters. What we want to do matters. The Bible doesn't think that. The Bible isn't about feelings. It isn't about what we think we should do. Read that. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. All right, so remember, it says trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And a lot of us like to say we love God. We go to church on Sundays. We pay tithes. We give the offerings, we play the tambourine. We say God's the head, he's the pilot, right? That's what we say, read that again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. All right, so in order to say that you love God, you have to put your trust in him. But what does trust entail? Go ahead. And lean not onto thine own understanding. In order to trust in God, that means you have to put your feelings aside. Right. You can't lean upon what you think is right. Like for example, a lot of us might think it's okay to have sex with multiple women. A lot of us might think it's okay to steal from somebody to provide for your family. That's what we might think. But what does God say? Give me Leviticus. No, finish that up real quick. Then go to Leviticus. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not onto thine own understanding. Go ahead. In all thy ways. It says in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Now that's how you can say the Lord is your pilot. That's how you say that, because if he's directed, he's the one that's leading you. Right. And what is he leading you with? The words of God. Right. So what you think should line up with the words of God. Leviticus right. 19, 17. I'm going to give you a perfect example real quick. Quick example of how a lot of us might think we're doing the right thing. Okay? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. All right? It says, do not hate your brother in your heart. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him Amen. thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people because a lot of us in our minds we think if somebody wants to do something to us to harm us or to harm one of our family members the first thing we think is let me go get him back hey shalom says Messiah Christ let's come on real quick let me show you something I'm gonna show you something do you go to church 
good. All praises. Now, let me ask you this. On this sound right here, you probably can't see it, but what would your father be? Would he be a so-called African-American, so-called West Indian, Jamaican, Haitian, uh, Puerto Rican? What would your father be, his nationality? His nationality would be um, African-American. African-American, good, good. So, according to the Bible, African-American is not found in there. God says you are from the tribe of Judah. There you go, so you know that, good. These names like African American and Haitian, Jamaicans, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, uh, Indians, these are names given to us by our oppressors. Right. Yeah. It's slave owners. Slave owners. Right. Deuteronomy 28. Let's get to it. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28. We're right to it. So you do understand we do have oppressors in this land. Yeah. And when I say we, who am I talking about when I say we? When I say we have oppressors, who am I talking about? Us as a people, us as black people. There you go, sis. All Whoa. praises. All right? I'm going to show you something real quick. Give me a hold that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. Then we'll go right back to it. I'm going to show you in the Bible that according to what they teach in the Bible in church, they say that God is dealing with everybody, that God thinks all nations are on the same level, that he loves everybody, right? That's what we're taught. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Whoa. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says that the Israelites are a holy people unto him. All right, go ahead. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God said the Israelites are a special people to himself. There's 18 nations listed in the Bible. All right. But God says out of all 18 nations, there's one nation that he says holy to him. That's special to him. That's the Israelites. Go ahead. Above. He says these people are above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. God says you are above all the other people on this earth. There's no such thing as equality on this on this earth. Go to Deuteronomy 20. I'm going to show you now. When it gets to what you said, we do have oppressors as black people. The same people that, that run the world now are the same ones that put us in this oppression. Start at verse uh, 15. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So since God is telling the Israelites which is telling us if we do not keep his commandments if we don't follow his laws what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God says being our father he says if we keep his laws we're going to be blessed. If we break his laws we're going to get punished we're going to be cursed. Is that fair? As a parent, are you are you a parent? Yeah. So when you have a you have a child, so if they do what you say, you might give them a reward or something like that, right? Good job, good job for doing that. Get you some ice cream, whatever. But what happens if they don't do what you say? They get punished. They get punished. Right. Like exactly. So as as God being our Father, if we break His laws, isn't it only right that He punishes us? That's the only right. Thing. There you go. All right. Let's get let's get to it. Verse thirty-two. Verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He says, since we broke the laws, he says, our sons and our daughters will be given unto another people. That means another set of people will have our children. When did that happen to us? When was our people physically taken from us, our children taken from us, and given to another people? It was, uh, that was a long time ago when they started that. When did that happen? And it happened when that original happened. Yeah, when did it happen? Come here, show us. Look at this. Look at this real quick. I'm talking about this right here. You see this? Oh, yeah. When they took us, when they took us from our home. There you go. Yeah. That's a curse that God put on us because we broke his laws. Right. He said, since we didn't keep his laws, go to verse 68, he would have our children taken away from us. That will show you how. Because you've seen the picture yeah. on this big ship, right? And we're going to be spreading around. That's why everybody's really suffering that stuff and calling that stuff Jamaican. There you go, this sis. And this and that. And all of us is one, but they took us and we didn't know no better. So guess what? They just suppressed our brain yeah. as well as everything else. <laughs> now check this out. What you said is what the Bible just said. Read that. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee. Shall what? Scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Sis, that's exactly what you just said. And that's what the Lord said. Right. The Lord said if we broke his commandments, what just happened in this Bible is going to happen to us, and it did. Just right. like you said, right? Keep going. And there thou shalt serve other gods. 
Now, once we get to these lands, we're going to surf other guys. The other guys that we were just talking about is this image right here. This is what we were taught in church. We were taught white Jesus. Now, is Jesus white? Is Jesus white? So, according to other people, but not according to me. I mean, I'm, I myself am trying to convince, but not convince, but, but there's people that um, go to church on Sunday and they call themselves Christians and I'm trying to talk to them and let them know that what you've been, what you're going and just sit down and preach to them and leave and on, in the church is not the right thing. So, sis, when so you, you gonna wake up. So like, you said you don't believe that Christ is white, right? I don't. What, what color do you think he is? Black, Do you know that? sure that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Better Deuteronomy 28. So we'll continue with these curses to show you who we are. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Alright so he's going to take us back into Egypt. Give me the precept for that. Alright so remember when the Israelites were taken out of Egypt under captivity they were taken into the wilderness right? They walked into the into the wilderness. Right? Exodus chapter 20 verse 2 I am the Lord thy God Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt right. Out of the house of bondage So the word Egypt in the Bible Is synonymous with bondage So anytime we think about Egypt It's a horrible place for us Because we serve slavery there right. Verse 68 Verse 68 I'm sorry Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now remember, God says he's going to bring us into Egypt. Now what does Egypt mean? Bondage. Slavery. So God is going to bring us into slavery with ships. With what? With ships. Now remember, sis, that's what we just told you. This is biblical history. This is stuff that's found in the Bible that you haven't been taught in church. That's why when you say you don't go to church, I said good. Because you're not learning nothing in it. No way. No way. I, have, I have gone there and yeah, and what, the, um, what I know now is not what was told sitting there and listen to a preacher on the pulpit. Right. right. What you learn is the church is a lie. Yes. They right. teach you nothing but lies and heresies. That's it, his job to tell us that he's another form of um, um, slave owners to me. There you go. Another exactly. They were taught by the slave owners. Yeah. Keep going. With ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be. It says we shall not see our homeland again. And it says there, the place where we get off these ships, what's going to happen? Ye shall be sold. He said we're going to be sold. Remember the auction blocks. Right in Chaco Bottom and Richmond, the auction blocks are there where our people were sold. Richmond was the number two, was the second biggest slave hub in the United States of America. I don't think you heard what I said. Richmond was the second biggest hub. Yeah. So you know this is real. So this Bible is prophecy, and it prophesied with our slavery, and it happened just like that. What I can't understand is if the Bible is written for over a thousand years, and what is going on now is already written, so I don't understand how us as black people can continue to go to church. If you know the Bible, why? I don't understand it. That's Even the question we have, too. You one thing, why are you still not go understanding ahead, uh, real quick. Read that again real quick. Let the brother come up and finish it up. I'm going to show you why a lot of our people are messed up right now. Because we were all taught that lie. When you were taught a lie for so long, you believe it. Right. If you was brought up thinking that the sky was green, if you was taught that for 30 years, and then somebody came on and showed you that it wasn't green, you might not have believed it right away. You might say, no, nah, no, nah, I don't believe you. My mama told me the sky was green, so it's green. My grandmama told me the sky was green. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Right for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached. So the white man taught all of us Christianity. He taught us that this white Christ. He taught us about uh, 
keeping Thanksgiving, Christmas, all these holidays that we're not supposed to keep. He taught us that, so a lot of us are indoctrinated with us and, and with this thing. All right, keep going. Or if you receive another spirit. That's another spirit. So with this image of that white Jesus comes a spirit of all these wicked things that are against the Bible. Right. All right, finish it up. Which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, he might well bear with him. All right, so that's what the Bible teaches. It teaches against Christianity. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.